What is good everybody? Today we are back with brand new action figure news for you and just kind of a discussion style video for you, a discussion topic that I wanted to get into because I came across this yesterday and I thought it was really interesting and I wanted to break it down here for you, talk about it and let you guys know all of my thoughts, see where your head's at on this and just kind of break it all down and see what the temperature of the room is, I guess. Kind of check out something and just discuss something, man. So yesterday I'm scrolling through social media as we like to do, of course. Got to stay in the loop on these action figure deals and this came across my page here. This came across my feed and it is going to be the McFarlane Joker pre-order or the McFarlane Joker set from 2019. Is that when that movie came out? God in heaven, that was forever ago. But this set popped up right here. This is a playset, essentially, or a display set. It is a two-in-one, live with Murray Franklin set, Joker and Robert De Niro, or Murray, whatever the hell his name, Murray Franklin, I guess you could say his name is. But let's break down, let's just break this down. And first, I'm just going to go through all of my thoughts and everything, man. So I'm looking at this set, and, you know, I'm, I'm looking at it, I'm like, oh, this is pretty cool, you know, uh, I, I really, honestly, I wasn't a big fan of the film. I thought it was an interesting take and everything like that, but I haven't even seen the second one because of all the trailers and everything. I was never intrigued about a second film, but the original film was like, yeah, it's okay. I'll never watch it again. Not something that, I don't know. It put me, movies that put me in like a really depressed statement, I don't really, I don't really want to watch them again. I don't like films that make me feel like I've been to a funeral or like put me in a bad mood, kind of. I don't know. Like after a movie makes me feel that way, I never watch it again. Similar to like a hereditary, I don't know. Some, I just didn't, it bothered me internally or something. I don't know. No, Nonetheless, man, that has nothing to do with this. This set right here, you break it down, it has the Joker face. Let's just go through this, man. So I thought this was a cool set at first, and then I looked down at the price, and it's $250 or $249.99, something like that, man. $250 for this set right here. And at first, that absolutely blew my mind, but let's just break it all down. Maybe you're thinking, you know what, man, maybe this is worth it to you or whatever. Like, I want to go through every single thing here. So let's go through the list, man. So first of all, you get the McFarlane figures that they come with. You get two full-scale figures here, and I'll get into my thoughts on McFarlane. Let me jot this down so I don't forget this point. So you get the 7-inch scale Joker action figure. Very nice. You get the 7-inch scale Murray Franklin action figure. Very nice. You know, it is two suited bodies, but at least it's two, you know, characters that would be sought after. It is Robert De Niro, by God. You get Walking Phoenix. I understand that. You get three swappable Joker face plates, four alternate hands, notebook, handgun, coffee mug, microphone, collectible art card. So that's all the accessories and figures you get right here. Then you slide over, and you do have the background set or the little play set area of the display here. Live with Murray, Franklin set, host desk, host chair, interview chair, and plant. So you get a decent amount of little diorama accessories right here. They're probably not going to be super high quality, right? They're going to be made of plastic. If they're anything like those Batman 60s play sets or 60s Batman's play sets, the Adam West sets, they're pretty quality. They're just, the, the plastic is, you know, it's just regular plastic. It's not like it's, you know, high quality leather. It's not like hand-stitched leather chairs going on right here. And then they threw in this, which I, I don't really give a damn about. Maybe you do if you're a big Joker guy. But it's a full-size Joker net notebook replica, which I think this was just kind of a, you know, one of those pieces that kind of makes it, tries to justify the price point. And then you get the full-size metal sign replica that says, don't forget to smile, but then they marked out the forget to, so it says, don't smile. And then you also get this post that's the Pogo's Comedy Club Open Mic Night poster, which is just going to be a thin piece of paper, I imagine. And then it does show pieces of the packaging, and the box is pretty cool. It's got the, you know, the embossed shiny Joker face and all these different things going on with it. It's a cool box. It is a cool box set. It shows all the stuff on the inside, but $250 for the set is absolutely nuts, man. And I'll go into why I think this is absolutely nuts or why I just think that it's it's definitely overpriced. It's definitely overpriced. I think that, I think at $150, this would be overpriced priced. $150, I think this would be overpriced. And I'm not really one that talking about pricing or anything like that. You guys know that I was a big defender of the Nitro stage, the crowdfund failure there. I was a big defender of that. I'm not big on attacking prices most of the time. You know, I'll give my feedback on it, but most of the time I let companies do what they want to do with the price because at the end of the day, the market's going to decide if they're going to buy it or not, right? But breaking it down, you get two McFarland figures here. And McFarland figures, I don't really collect a lot of them. I would say there's probably five or less in my entire collection collection because I'm just not, I don't really like their, first of all, I'm not big on their scale. I think their scale is a little weird. And then I also think that the figures don't feel as quality in hand. I don't know. There's something about them. I don't know. Something about the way the figures move and things like that. And I don't have a ton, so I can't compare it to a Marvel Legend or maybe a WWE Elite or Ultimate because I feel I have a lot more experience with those lines. I have a lot more experience with those lines so I can kind of discuss and break it down. But I don't collect McFarlane because I think that a lot of the scales are weird. A lot of the proportions are 
weird and the figures don't feel that quality in hand. That's just how I feel about it. Maybe you like to collect those figures. Maybe you enjoy those. And I've seen some really cool figures. They have made some really cool ones. They have made some really cool figures in the past. So it's not like they are incapable of making good figures. I've seen them make some good figures. I think that some of their figures are interesting. And I have, I do have some ties to certain characters that they've made. Obviously, it was a big Batman fan growing up, big animated series Batman fan, all those things. But I don't think their figures are very high quality in the first place. So you're getting two of those. We have seen WWE Ultimate Edition sets. And I don't even know what the, the WWE Ultimate Edition sets go for, but let me Google this. Hold up. Let me make sure, because I can't remember off the top of the dome. So the Steiner Brothers is on pre-order for $74.99 for those two figures. And those are Ultimates. I mean, I would probably compare these McFarlane figures to similar to Elites. And Elite 2-packs are usually not $75. You can usually get a WWE Elite 3 or 4-pack for around that price point, the $74 price point, which is what I would probably compare a McFarlane figure to, even though I think Elites are better quality anyway. Anyway, so the figures with all these accessories is probably, what, $70 at the most? And then you throw in this background right here, which it's a cool background. I think the floor's cool. I think the background's cool. I think the window and the set, the desk chairs, and the de or the chairs and the desk and the plant, all very cool things. Like, I think this is a really cool set. I think it's just the price point that I think is going to knock this thing back. And I don't know. I didn't see a ton of people talking about it. I saw some people saying that it was too, you know, obviously it was too much with this, that, and the other. But that's crazy, man. That's crazy that... That, and then they throw in all these like life-size replica props. So, you know, the poster and the sign and the journal, which I think, again, is just kind of an incentive to try to boost this. But I was sitting here and I was trying to compare it to the Nitro stage because that's kind of what this is comparable to at the at the least. And, you know, the Nitro stage, it was $400. And I tried to break it down and see like, okay, if you think this $250 set is too expensive, you had to have thought that the Nitro stage was too expensive for $400. But I was always defending the Nitro set because I think a lot of people didn't understand understand how big that nitro set was a lot of people didn't realize how big and how grand that stage was that we were getting there with the nitro set but with that nitro set that stage was massive and it was a, a thing where it was multifunctional and this thing may be multifunctional you could probably do some different deals but the background is kind of set you can't move the floor around you can't really move the backdrop around you can move the desk and the chairs around and you could put some other things in front of it and you may can remove the floor or remove the background and do stuff like that but that that stage was multifunctional. You could move the pieces around. It had the like very elaborate lighting sequences. I think there was like five or six lighting sequences. And I'm not even going all in on the thing where I'm including all five figures. Even if you just include the Rey Mysterio and the Scott Steiner that it was originally going to come with if we only got the 5,000 backers. I think we ended up with like 3,900 and something. Like 80, almost 80% 80 of people funding it funded it. Even if you don't include the whole five figures, even just getting two Ultimate Editions with all those accessories that Ultimates come with, this looks like those Batman play sets that you would get at Target. I think they're, they may be Target exclusive. Maybe they're not Target exclusive. Again, I'm not entirely in the loop on that. But I've had the, you know, the library or whatever, the office or whatever from the Batman sets. And those figure sets are really cool. I can't remember what they went for, but I know they went on clearance. Didn't those end up going to clearance? I know some people were getting for what, 15, 20 bucks, 25 bucks. I don't remember what they retailed for. Maybe 35, 40. And that seems very similar to what we're getting here. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm missing the plot. Maybe I'm missing what the exact value of this is, but all the furniture is very similar to that, and I love the desk. I love the chairs. I like little diorama pieces like that. I like sets like this, but 250 bucks is crazy, and I know the economy is a little crazy right now. Everything's inflated. Everything is, you know, up in price, all those different things, but man, I saw the set and thought that was absolutely nuts, and I have seen people say that they were going to buy it and all those different things, and then another thing on top of it is the sequel kind of killed this thing, or it probably is going to hurt this thing a lot, because if this, if the sequel had come out and it had the same sort of fan that the original Joker, you know, the first Joker movie had, this thing would probably have a lot more juice to it because that fandom would be so passionate about it, but that passion may have been put out. Maybe that fire and that passion may have been put out by the extinguisher of the second film, man. And a lot of people are saying they want to wait for the eventual single-release Joker, and maybe it's a case of where, you know, they gotta pay that Walking Phoenix price tag or that Robert De Niro price tag. You want those likenesses, you want to make these figures, and you want to have these in action figure form, or it's gonna cost you, Brad. You're gonna have to cost 
cough up some extra dough to attain those faces and likenesses on your figures, which I understand. Maybe that is a bigger part of this price point, so that's maybe why they threw in those extra deals there. Maybe they're just going after those super passionate Joker fans that are going to want this thing regardless of what it is. But man, I thought that that price point was pretty crazy, and I just wanted to get on here and talk about it and discuss it because I, I thought it was crazy, and I'm not one to talk about prices. Usually, you know, I can justify it or I try to, you know, break it down and understand where they're coming from or see the business side of it. But on this one, man, I am not seeing it. I am not seeing the vision on this one. I'm trying to even put it in perspective where if this were the Mattel equivalent, like again, let's say we got a two pack, like let's say they did a Rydie Piper and, and some other character with a like a Piper's Pit set or a barbershop window, Marty Jannetty, Shawn Michaels Elite two pack, which is kind of, I don't know, man, if this is 250 bucks, I'm kind of scared of what the damn crowdfunder price is going to be. What is the crowd? The next crowdfunder is going to be announced very soon too for WWE and Mattel. I have no idea what the hell they're planning. They said they already have a few ideas. They've already begun working on it, what that is. And I imagine we're probably going to get that revealed to us at some point. I'd imagine probably WrestleMania, they're going to reveal that. And then maybe at Comic-Con season, they're going to roll it out. And that's when the pre-order is going to go up. And then we'll probably have it in hands the next WrestleMania or something like that. I'm not entirely sure there, but my God, man, I don't know. I'm kind of afraid now of what that might entail. But what I was saying was, is if this was an Elite 2-pack and it had a barbershop window or whatever, again, I think that a hundred bucks would be two WWE Elites and a, a cool backdrop diorama set like this, I would imagine would probably be $99.99. That's what I would imagine the price would be. Maybe it'd be a little higher than that, but $250, it would have to be two Ultimates and a really, a la like, a background drop and then maybe a ring. If you threw in, like, a full-scale Ultimate Edition ring, then maybe that would make more sense. I don't know. I don't know, man. I just, there's a lot of things going on here, but I think that at the end of the day, 250 bucks is a ton of money for this set specifically. But again, maybe that's what you like. You want to grab it, man. I mean, that's you. Spend it, spend it how you want, man. That's why I usually don't talk about prices because I think that the market is going to decide for itself. People are going to decide and they're going to buy it or they're not going to buy it. And then, you know, the company is going to have to bite the bullet on that or whatever the case is, man. So we'll, we'll see about all those things. We'll dive into it, man. But at the end of the day, that is pretty much going to wrap up this video, man. I hope you guys did enjoy. I'd love to know again what all you think about this set. Do you think it's too much money? Do you think this, think that? I want to know all of your thoughts. Whether you think it's good, whether you think it's crap, I want to know all those things down in the comment section below. But I'm getting the hell out, man. Hope you guys did enjoy. Huge shout out to our Patreon members, man. Appreciate you fellas. Thank you guys so very much for your support. As always, you guys are amazing. But I want to know everybody's thoughts down in the comment section below. But I'm getting out, man. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one, and I will catch you guys later. Yeah.